right, so what are we going to do today? Uh, I haven't had my hair cut in one and a half years, so I'd like to keep the length, but uh, get as much volume as possible. Okay. So I'm thinking a long layered haircut probably. Okay, perfect. So, um, okay guys, so what, I, what we need to know as stylists is we need to make sure that we listen to our client during the consultation is what exactly that she wants. We don't want to do what we want. We want to, we want to do what the client wants. Um, so we, you said you want to keep it long. Mm -hmm. And what about how long? Look, I'm going to hold your hair here, yeah. OK? And I'm going to raise it up, mm -hmm. all right? So keep your eyes down here, OK? okay? This is a good uh, consultation tool for you guys. All right, so you would hold the hair here and you raise it up. Tell me when to stop. Uh, right there? Yeah. Just to kind of give you an idea what you would look mm -hmm. like um, with shorter hair, this is, look, just kind of, just give you an idea. No, it's getting way too short. Yeah, I agree. So I like it long on you, all right? So we're gonna take it off, say maybe, maybe one or two inches, about right yeah. there. All right, mm -hmm. to clean up those ends because yeah. you said it's been a long time. Yeah. Why has it been so long that you haven't gotten your hair cut? Oh, I was pregnant. Oh, <laughs> oh you had a baby. Well, congratulations. Awesome. Okay, and I noticed that your hair is, it's curly. It's curlier in the back, but on the top, it's straighter. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Okay, so, and let me ask you this one question. So do you, um, do you maintain your hair as far as like, do you style it? What do you do whenever you get out the shower on a daily basis? Uh, Low maintenance? Yeah, kind of, but I wash it like every three to four days. Okay. And I use, uh, I blow dry my hair. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I use curling iron. Okay. okay, perfect. All right. Um, and so really you just kind of put, maybe you comb through it and just let it air dry. All right. I'm going to give you a little bit of layers so we can make sure that we uh, clean up these ends up here and it's going to give you some movement yeah. throughout here. Mm -hmm. How about the front as far as the um, you want to you want to angle up front? You want a couple shorter lengths in the yeah, back? I sure. so. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is First of all, whenever you're looking at the whole overall member, everything's visual and um, It's like it's like being an artist you want to kind of carve it out and you want to you're painting the picture This is my canvas right here so she said and, and during the consultation that she wants to take off about that much. And I, I completely agree with that because she said it's been over a year since she's uh, gotten a haircut. So we're gonna take off about that much, okay? And then we're gonna add maybe a few layers up here just to kind of give it that movement there, all right? And then in the front, we're gonna, once we get up there, we'll, I'll explain. First of all, you want to take a section from the ear, from right behind the ear here. Okay, move that out of your way because all this is the front area. It's from ear to ear, okay? All this is your front. All this is the back part of the hair, okay? And also keep in mind, stylists, when you're combing through the client's hair, do if you want them to be a returning client, you can give them the best haircut, but if you are pulling their hair and like just putting your the comb inside the scalp, it hurts them, they will not be back. So try not to be heavy handed. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a section here all right, take a section maybe at the top of the ear here. Drop that down. Take another section here. And you notice I'm doing a dry cut, right? Her hair is clean. This particular hair uh, type, hair texture, I like to, um, to cut it when it's dry so I can instantly see what's going on when I'm cutting it. Take it from ear to ear. section here, remove it out of my way. I'm gonna raise her up, look at that, how easy that is. 
you get to raise it up. All right, let me take a little bit more cleaner section here. And you really don't, like her hair is pretty fine here. See the density, hair density? You don't need to start from right here. You can, you can kind of cheat and move right on up, bring it down to establish the perimeter, okay? Then you wanna make sure that you utilize your, your mirror, all right? That's your best friend right there. The mirror does not lie. So you wanna utilize this mirror right here. And then you wanna look at your client. You wanna make sure that she's straight, grab her by the shoulders like this, and ask her to please tilt the head right there stay stay right there for me then I'm gonna grab the hair straight down okay matter of fact I'm gonna I can cut the whole thing all in one time but I'm gonna take a little I'm gonna take this half section here take this out Matter of fact, I'm gonna switch the comb. Notice it's thinner. Uh, okay. Comb it. Comb one time, one more time underneath. Comb it again, get some nice tension. There it is, she once cut about that much. And before I cut, I kinda get a visual of the whole thing, how it's gonna look like. Then, zero degree elevation. Let me do it one more time. Zero degree elevation. Actually, this is a little bit elevated, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna cut it right here. Okay, see that? Take the next section. Comb it down. All right, do it again. See that? See those ends? I'm gonna let me get my chair real quick here. It's easier to sit down. All right, grab this, cut this, this. Make sure it's straight. Like that. I'm gonna check on the client here. Make sure she's okay. She's doing good. All right, you can even go back. No, nope, you keep your head straight right there. Perfect. You can go back here. See, look, I'm combing it from here, going straight down, zero degree angle. See this right here? Same tension. All right, like this. That's perfect. Now, drop the next section here. I'm gonna take uh, half of this section. Okay. Half of that section there. Pin this up here. Put your head back just a little bit right there. All right. Sorry. Bring that through. Gently. Way, do the same thing, just repeat it. Move that out the way. Grab that down. Flip the comb. Add more tension. See the teeth, the difference in the teeth. One's closer together than this. So, so I can get more tension on there. Alright, and look at this. You'll be able to see where you cut the last first section. Okay, there you are. All right. Remember to flip the comb. Set the way. Check on your client. Make sure she's straight. Tilt your head down. All right. Comb it. Now you're gonna flip it for some tension here. 
All right, cut just like this. All right, look at that, right there. Look at those ends, okay? They're better than how they were. They were all straggly before. All right, take the next section, flip the comb. Alright, we've got that. Now I'm going to move on to the side here. Take this member right behind the ear. This is part of the back. Alright, put the comb. You see this? I'm just going to connect it. Alright, I'm going to move her here just a little bit slightly okay, comb this down connect it All right. actually you probably want to take a cleaner section right here move this out the way Watch the ear when you comb in it. Don't, I mean, some stylists, they will, they will hurt the client's ear. Make sure they don't have any earrings. Yank out the earrings. All right. And I'm telling you guys this because, man, I want you to have returning clients. All right. that is connected. Now we're going to turn her over to the other side here. All right, here we go. Get this out the way. Get this down. Carry it on to the other side. Now, what we're gonna do is, so I'm gonna lower it down just a little bit. You know, cutting hair shouldn't take you no more than really 30 minutes. You shouldn't have to, I'm booked every 30 minutes, so. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna take my clean section there. So the last section. All right, move this out the way. Comb the rest of the hair. Okay. Gotta make sure you ask your client if she's okay. Right. Slightly down. Right. 
do the same thing. Get to the middle, move that out the way. Move that. Move that out the way. Comb it. Move that down. See that? There's the line. This is how your end should look. Like that, nice and clean. Okay. Take that next section here. Comb that down. Flip the comb around. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go, we, we already established the length in the back there, okay? Make that nice and straight. Now we're gonna move on the side here. We already cut the first section, remember when we carried it through? So we already established that length there. There it is. Take another section, next section. That's been done. section make sure when you comb it you don't want to comb it or direct it this way you want to comb it straight down so you want to visually see everything when you're combing it down See that? We're going to carry it all the way through. Look at these ends compared to what our ends look like now. See that? See those ends that are straggly? Now look. Nice and straight. Okay, nice and straight. Okay, if she wanted all one length, this would be all one length right here. But she doesn't. She wants some layers. So do the same thing. You comb it. So there's a little tangle there. Just lightly comb it out. See that right there? I mean, literally, you can grab it and just connect it just like that. Okay, nice and clean. Right there. Come on the other side. Looks even to me. So that would be one length right there. That's how it looks. Okay. So we're done if it was one length, but we're going to add some layers because we want to clean up the top portion of the hair. And always remember when the comb leaves the head, right where it leaves the head, look at this, where the comb leaves the head, right here. This is where everything right here around the crown area on up is the layers. 
everything from here on down is your length okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take remember what I said look where the comb leaves the head right there I'm gonna take a section right here all this from here on down is your length from here on up is your is the layer Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. There it is. Grab this whole section here. Again, from right here, on down. There it is. Look at this. From right here, on down. There it is, right there. I'm gonna take this. All right. All this from here on down is your length. Okay. There's a nice beautiful wave there. So I'm basically taking a square right here on the crown. So then do the same thing. I'm gonna come around here and look. And you'll see these ends. I want to show you something. So I'm pulling this straight up. I'm not elevating this way nor that way. Okay pulling it straight up right here look at these ends right here you see that look at that watch this you could either cut it this way like that or you can cut it straight across I just want to cut it straight across so you can see but first before you do that you want to make sure remember she wanted long layers you want long layers correct yeah. okay so she wants long layers all right, so I already know if I cut it here, it's gonna fall right there. All right, so look at the hair and look how it falls over, like a wilted plant. See that? Now watch this, I'm about to cut it and look what it does. See, watch this. Look at these ends. Nice and straight that is, watch. Look. See that? Look straight. See the difference? See that? Okay. So if you notice why you're not getting any bend in your hair, it's because you need to trim your ends. There you are. Nice and clean. All right, so now look. Look, watch this. It already looks better. Okay. Looks nice, look at that. And I'm combing through her hair and it still looks good. All right, so now what we're going to do that's already done now what we're going to do is remember take that section again from the back of the ear to the front here's the front part all right come over here take a section top to the back of the ear Okay. All right, that's done. All this has been done. Okay, now we're going to cut. And look at this up front right here. I want y'all to see this. Look at this. She has no layers. She wants layers in the front. Up. Okay, there it goes here, here. I'll take my little triangle section here from the top of the head right here to the corner of her eyebrow. Right here, top of her head to 
to the corner of her eyebrow. See that? I'm gonna give her a little face uh, framing, shaping here, watch. Take this. And a good thing to know is that you wanna make sure that if they like to pull their hair back, you wanna make sure you leave this long enough to where they can do that. Or a lot of women, what they do is they have the hair, like they'll tuck it behind the ear. Are you one of those that tuck it behind your ear like that? Yes. Okay, so we wanna make sure before we cut it, if I cut it here, it's barely gonna reach behind the ear. So. Okay, grab this, we'll take a slider, thinner section here. Is that my way? And do you sweep it over to both sides or? You wear it over to one side. Which way do you do it? Oh, both sides. Both sides. Okay. So what we're going to do, she wears it at both sides. We're going to cut down the middle like this. Maybe we'll do a little bit lower than the chin length. And you want to look at her face and you want to gauge it like where it's going to compliment her. So I'll grab the hair here. Zero degree angle. Remember, you want to have it long enough to comb behind the ear. So that hair right here would be good I think we ought to cut it a little bit shorter elevate it just a little bit kind of look at look in the mirror how's that link right there good okay kind of opens her face a little bit where you can see that beautiful face of hers now we'll take another section here Sorry. your hair tangles very easily correct yeah. got that baby hair okay <laughs> so here we go take my next section of the triangle drop it a little bit more cut it right here See that? Looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna now I'm gonna connect everything. This is the last section, and we're done with the haircut. Taking the section again, excuse me. Again, where the comb leaves the head, that where the comb leaves the head section here, and again back here, grabbing everything together, and I'm gonna connect it all. And then we're done. You notice like see those you see those look at that looks beautiful okay you can see the kind of volume that she has back here it still looks one length right look at that that's long layers if she swings this back is she you know most girls they tend to pull their hair back like this comb it back look at the layers right here See that? Different layers. Doesn't look choppy. Okay. Look. See that? These different layers right here. Remember, her hair is super, super fine. Each strand is very, very fine. Look at that. But she has a lot of it. Keep in mind, she just had a baby. Did you uh, gain a lot more hair or did you lose hair? Or what's going on? You haven't lost any? Good. Oh, I pray that you haven't that you won't lose any. Okay. So 
So that's that, and we're pretty much done. So now to finish it off, that's it. All right, there you are. To finish it off, um, what I'm gonna do is what you girls can do at home is you can put a little curling iron to it. Look at that. You see that? That looks good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a quick curling iron. This is some. This is an easy tip to do at home. Look at this. It just kind of accentuates things. So grab it. Do you use a curling iron at home? Yeah, I do. Awesome. See, release that. Just you don't. You can kind of just do a few here and there, and it makes a world of a difference. Look at that. See that? The other side. Everything's visual. Once you learn the technique, you apply your technique with and all visual. Look at that. See? Look. Well, there you are, Mama. <laughs> Spray it with a little bit of hairspray, just because it will fall once the humidity hits it. Okay. There you 
arms. See, she has that movement now. 